Microsoft Power BI gives us a wide range of methods to analyze our data and get answers to our questions. So in this video, we are going to discuss completely about the AI visuals. That is, we, I'll give you a short introduction about what is AI visual and we will discuss about every individual AI visuals in videos. Okay. So today we will discuss about this AI visual, which is particularly the Q and A visual. So the Q&A feature in Power BI lets us to explore our data in our own words by allowing us to ask natural language questions and then providing us with the answers to those questions. So the ability to ask questions is valuable to us as the report uh, builder or as a um, dashboard designer and as a report users. This gives us an idea for the type of visuals that we can display in our report and let us quickly add those visuals directly to the Power BI. Additionally, it gives uh, uh, our report users, that is a report users, an effective tool that can use to get quick answers to the questions about the data independently. So this self-help aspect to Power BI saves time for everyone involved in creating the dashboard. So Power BI records all questions that are asked and we can use this information to set up the Q&A feature to be more effective. When the Q&A feature answers so many questions, we will have fewer people turning to you for those answers. So let us see how it works. So today we will completely discuss about the Q&A feature in Power BI. So let me just go ahead quickly and uh, just uh, hover your uh, mouse over this visual it will show q and a and just click this visual it is showing preparing q and a okay so just um, enlarge it here you can see that there are few um, uh, things which are directly available okay when the q and a visual uh, or a button is added to our report we can reposition and resize it so this is how you can reposition and resize it okay we can also customize the formatting in the same way that we would uh, do it for other visual. For example, if you wanted to change this color, you can also do this. Okay. So you have a total sales. Okay. So here, if you just click on this total sales, okay, it will generate uh, here. You can see once if you click on the total sales, it is generating the value here. You can see it is just loading somewhere. So it is creating the value and you can see what is the total sales here. Okay, and if you just close this and if you come here, sort financials by COG. So how it is exactly finding out, see, based on your data and based on the uh, fields which you have, it is automatically understanding what are the basic questions which can be answered, which can be asked by most of the reporters or, or uh, dashboard designers. So I don't want these things. For example, this is total uh, discount over time, financial sorted by segment, compare gross sales versus COG. But I don't want these things. I want the total sales by product. Yes, you, you can directly ask the question like total, you can type T-O-T-A-L sales. Okay, so once you type total sales by so by default, it will show like what are the possible available possibility like total sales by profit or total sales by product. If you just click total sales by pro product, it is by default it's showing you like what is the possible visual that can be generated here. Yes, you can see that here it is showing the total sales by country. Okay, so you can see uh, if you want this as total total sales by product as KPI okay um kpi or in a card or you want in card so okay so total sales by product in card i have used in card so it is showing in card because product wise total sales you can see here it is showing total sales based on the product okay so this is what so the little changes like very simple English we can use. Uh, so here you you have uh, uh, like once you type total sales per product, it is by default is generating the uh, chart. Okay, you can find what chart it is. Okay, so you can see here it's a column chart or it uh, it is like um, um clustered bar chart. Okay, uh, so if you wanted to find total sales per product and okay, if you just add and 
if you want to see or as well as the segment okay and segment so you can see it is also showing you an another type of response another type of image uh, sort okay so i am just showing sort okay uh, 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 by sort by sort or something else so you can just rephrase the sentences because since you have varying varying data here so that is why it is showing something different so here you can type if you want to find the average sales okay so average profit so you can type average profit by average profit by sales you if you want you can type so all the possible all the possible uh, thing will be available here so average profit by sale it is showing in a line graph and even if you want to show and even if you wanted to show something like um, a date by like uh, um, what to say this, that is a sales uh, sales by date okay so to total sales by date total sales by date so once if you type total sales by date you can see here it is showing the total sales by date and by default in the line graph so this is what the speciality of the ai feature yes this is qna so even if you want to do some changes even if you want to do some changes over here okay so just if you just type it so you can see here uh, that you have the changes just you can enlarge so here you can see one button called that is one um, control call settings if you wanted to give some more settings to this so for example here since i have lot of fields so it is understanding all the fields and it is showing me the uh, questions so if you have a lot of uh, columns and if it is not uh, showing you you are desired uh, res uh, rec uh, response response then you can simply click here this is the setting so once if you click here settings it will take you to the synonyms where you can write the question so here you can see these are all the synonyms which are available so these are the synonyms which is automatically generated by power bi based on the ai ai feature so if you wanted to add a few more like if you wanted to delete something or if you wanted to disable something if you wanted to include something then you can definitely do it that is also possible here okay so and also you can see the review questions here so this has all the functionality that if you wanted to add if you wanted to remove if you wanted to um, uh, do some more uh, stuff into it then you can definitely do it in this settings okay so this is what the speciality of um, power bi q a so which means even if you are a newbie to power bi or if you wanted to learn like uh, what is the uh, image what are the questions which you can ask uh, with your uh, data what are the answers which you will be getting and how you have to improvise so all these things can be done with the help of this ai visual okay so this will definitely help you in a better understanding of the dashboard and one more thing you can uh, add the synonyms here if you just click on this add synonyms now even that will take you to add more synonyms if you get get if you uh, if you just check get more synonyms so it is again refreshing and it will give you more synonyms to you so i hope um, you found this video useful so uh, in the next video probably we will cover the next uh, next ai visual okay that is uh, we will cover either a key influencer or a decomposition tree or a smart narrative thank you take care bye bye